Good evening everyone. So today's video I'm just going to give you kind of a brief little overview of what I take in my gym bag every day with me to the gym. So my first thing that I, I'm going to do, so if I do any kind of jump rope or anything like that, I'm sure most people have the standard jump rope, that kind of thing. Not me. Too uh, uncoordinated to use an actual jump rope. So I discovered these little things. I know they look really stupid and everything, but 1A they're a safety thing. Because if you've ever been smacked in the face or anything with a jump rope, it hurts. These foam nubs have the same thing and basically imitate a jump rope, which is really cool. So I don't have to worry about hurting someone or breaking any gym rules that have jump rope bands. Next, I have the little red foam roller in case the gym that I go to doesn't have one. And you saw this one in Monday's video from when I showed you foam rolling. The next item looks like a tiny foam roll, but it actually isn't. What this is, is one of those pool foam noodle things that's just cut down. The one that has the hole and then has a cut along the side to make a squat bar pad just to have a little bit of cushion. So I'm sure if some of you have ever done squats halfway through the week or at the beginning of the week and you strained your neck a little bit or anything like that and you're like oh god I need something just for that little bit to get that done well this is what I did because <laughs> it's an easy substitute so if somebody steals it not a big deal go to the dollar store get yourself another foam noodle cut it up put a slit down it good to go my next thing that I keep with me are my lovely iron grip hooks I got these back a while ago and I have always had need of them for something, like deadlifts or something, because my grip will give out pretty quickly. So I like to have these handy for deadlifts or anything with a straight bar that I'm going to be lifting, like a Romanian deadlifts, anything like that. I have a stopwatch, so that way I can time certain things or certain interval trainings, anything like that I'm going to do. Uh, next, the deck of cards. And what I do with these is, I'll take the deck, and if I have a workout partner that day, or if it's just me, so like say I draw a three, I will do three reps of whatever exercise that I'm doing. But depending on if it's a lower number, then I'll take a shorter break, and then I'll do draw another card. So a king would be like ten reps, or an ace is a wild card if you have a partner, and sort of it keeps the challenge going. So think of it, the think of it as the uh, not the drinking game, but the workout game for the gym. And definitely always have a lock on you, because you never know when you might need to lock up a bag or something in a locker. And have a good solid lock, not a, one of those cheap little dinky locks. Next, bottle of water. In my case, a gallon of water, always a necessary item. And then I always have extra rubber bands because the gym bands, if you ever have used them and they've broken on you, you know how badly that hurts. Hurts worse than the jump rope hitting you. So I always carry a set of my own bands with me. And then finally, I carry a first aid kit. Because I'm sure some of you have had that moment when you're like, drop something on yourself or get a little metal cut anything like that so it can oh or you get a blister or who knows what can happen so you have spare items to bandage yourself and keep on going so that is what I carry in my gym bag and as always thank you for watching and I hope you'll keep tuning in to these videos and as always if you have any questions feel free to contact me or contact me through my personal training page it is attached down in the comment section of this video on youtube and everybody have a great night and i hope to see you on friday